so that you have a variety of audio files to listen to. I thought I'd step through the whole process of optimizing an audio file here using a number of different modules, some new and some old, simply to illustrate how to use RX4 to improve what might seem a well-recorded piece of audio. We'll do all that and then finish by looking at the clip gain function in a little bit more detail. Let's start by listening to the beginning of this audio. You'll notice whilst it's playing, it's quite bass resonant, but no worries, we can fix this later. Anyway, have a listen first of all. Here we go. Personification. The following is a way to introduce personification. Okay, as I said, bass rich. Now to check this, I'd normally use the spectrum analyzer and have its footprint expanded so that I can see it clearly on my monitor. Let's listen once more and watch the frequency graph. I'll keep my eye on the low end in particular. Ask your class to work in pairs, ensuring they've got a dictionary and thesaurus. With personification written on the whiteboard, ask the class to use dictionaries to discover its definition. OK, as I said, heavy around the 100 Hz and down area. By the way, if you want to correct the EQ, you could use the equalizer module, or, if you prefer, use a third-party plugin. Ordinarily, I would just simply use the RX4 EQ module, but here I'll use a third-party EQ plugin only to illustrate it's possible to load them up and utilize if desired. So, by clicking plugins here, I first need to remove the last plugin that I used, this version of Isotope's fabulous Insight. Now I'll click here and choose from the list where it says select plugin. Now I'm going to go for a Fab Filter EQ plugin. This one, Pro-Q2. So this now means if I hit preview, I can evaluate the frequency response of our audio by using a third-party plugin, this Pro-Q2. And then, if desired, hit process to make any changes to the sonic footprint of our audio. They might find something different, but we'll use this definition. The transferring of human qualities to something not human. And money talks. OK, let's close it down now. Right, that done, I'll zoom into the beginning of our audio file, and then perhaps my next step would be to tidy up or remove any extraneous background noise. So I'll call open the denoise module and use the auto setting for the dialog denoiser option. I'm going to leave these settings at default, i.e. reduce by 12 dB, and then preview it. By the way, you'll see an EQ spectrum graph here too. Personification. The following is a way to introduce personification. Ask your class to work in pairs. OK, good. I'll hit process now. OK, good one. And now I'll close my denoise module. Now I've noticed the audio signal has started to climb above 0 dB, something we don't want, of course. So I need to use the Gain module to rectify this. I'll flick over to the Normalize tab and leave it set to minus 0.5 dB so that the loudest peak only reaches that level. And I'll hit Process. OK, done. Now I'm just going to save where I'm up to by overwriting this original file. For real safety, you might want to save it to the RX document format so you could step back through all the different operations that you've made. But for our example, just overwriting the original file is suitable. I have got a backup copy. OK then, so at this stage, I might want to use the clip gain function to clean up or attenuate background noise further and to provide a more natural levelling of volume fluctuations. Now I'll choose to display our clip gain by selecting here, and then I can now add some nodes during this silent area and dip the volume, like this, by dragging these two middle nodes down. Do notice that the spectrograph updates to display this. OK then, all done. Now I'll just move over here and do the same, but this time to dip the sibilance. I think about 7 decibels of attenuation should do it. That's quite considerable. Anyway, let's have a listen to evaluate. Personification. The following is a way to introduce personification. 
Ask your class to work in pairs, ensuring they've got a dictionary and thesaurus. Good. I'll amplify the volume this time by adding nodes and pulling up here. The amplification will fade up to the node and then down. Have another listen. Ask your class to work in pairs, ensuring they've got a dictionary and thesaurus. OK, now to finish up, I'll show you how to make simultaneous multiple node adjustments. These nodes, for example, once I've added some in, can then be selected by drawing a region around them, and then by using the Shift key, I can move them all up or down to amplify or attenuate the whole selected section, and relative to each other. OK then, so I'm going to finish up here. Now so far we have been looking at the standalone version of RX4. In the next and final tutorial, we'll use RX4 as a plugin, but then use the standalone version by using something called RX Connect.